Hey everyone, Pupsker here. So I wanted to talk about galvanized mods today. Galvanized mods are currently the strongest mods you can get in Warframe for, I would say, both primary and secondary weapons, essentially. Most of them work pretty similarly in the fact that they have their base effect and then they have like an on-kill, on-hit type effect. So this is Galvanized Chamber. Once it's fully upgraded, it's 80% multi-shot, and then on kill, 30% multi-shot for 20 seconds, stacks up to 5 times. For Galvanized Scope, we have pretty much the same thing, but on headshot, increases your crit chance when aiming, and on headshot kill, increases your crit chance when aiming, to a ridiculously high degree. So let's go take a look at how you can actually get Galvanized mods, and you know, all of the other galvanized mods. They can be obtained quite simply through the arbitrations alerts here. And that means that you need to run arbitrations, meaning you need to complete every node on the star chart, as that is the main prerequisite to actually unlock arbitrations. So if you haven't done the star chart, if you haven't unlocked arbitrations yet, you will not be able to get the galvanized mods. Arbitrations are very simple. Last time I think I messed this up, but I believe they have an A, A, B, B, and then C repeating drop rotation, and it's one of the best ways to get Endo, to my knowledge, well, casually at least. And as you can see, it has a gimmick where Warframe is leveled up, Weapon does more damage, it is changing every hour, and you can only do one mission an hour, and yeah, Vitus Essence is the main resource that you'll need, as the galvanized mods are purchased for 20 Vitus Essence in the Arbitration of Honor shop in any relay. Vitus Essence also drops from the Arbitration Drones in Arbitrations, and those are the little drones flying around making your enemies invincible, so you always have to kill those, and I believe now the drop chance is 6% for Vitus Essence, and it used to be 3%. So they've at least changed a lot of things around, and we're good in that regard. So let's hop on over to the Strader Relay and take a look at the Arbitrations of Honor Shop and all of the other galvanized mods that you can purchase. So if you don't know, the Arbitrations of Honor Shop is with the Arbiters of the Hexus, I believe is their goofy little clan name. Well, faction name, I should say. And they're just all the way over here in this relay. See, they'll have this little symbol here. And this is the Arbitrations Honor's Shopkeep. Simply talk to him, and there we go. I have 38 Vitus Essence right now. I've been casually farming it up, but it does have a bunch of other things. But what we want to look at is, oh baby, the galvanized mods in the very bottom here. And as you can see, there are nine in total. Yeah, nine in total right now. I imagine there may be some more in the future in theory, but nothing as of yet. I only have grabbed galvanized chamber and galvanized scope for now. As you can see, the stats on them when fully upgraded are really good. But let's take a look at the other galvanized mods. Got galvanized savvy for shotguns. That is 80% status chance on kill, and then plus 40% damage per status, type affecting the target for 20 seconds, stacking up to two times. So kind of like a condition overload type mod for the shotgun in a sense. They're trying some things out without a doubt. Obviously good on status shotguns, can't hate. Galvanized acceleration. Plus 30% projectile speed slash beam length on kill. Plus 30% projectile speed slash beam length for 10 seconds. Stacks up to two times. So I wouldn't be using this one too much, but I see other builds that would use this, but hey, beam, projectile, speed, can't be mad. Another on-kill type stacking galvanized mod for shotgun, 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 and I think this is probably the last shotgun one. Galvanized Hell. 110% multi-shot on kill and 30% multi-shot for 20 seconds, stacking up to four times. That's obviously just gonna be great. It's just straight up multi-shot. Multi-shot can work pretty much on anything as it's just a flat damage amount of bullets multiplier. So all in all, very good. You have galvanized aptitude and that is 80% status chance on kill for rifles. 
or I should say 80% status chance, and then on kill, 40% damage per status type affecting the target for 20 seconds. And again, stacks up to two times. Yeah, the wording on these are weird because I try to read this as a sentence, but really it's 80% status chance separated, and then on kill, 40%, yeah. And, of course, we got the Galvanized Chamber for Rifle. We already went over this one. It's just good, right? You can't be mad at that. You have Galvanized Crosshairs on Headshot. Wow. 120% crit chance when aiming for 12 seconds, and then on Headshot Kill. Plus 40% crit chance when aiming for 12 seconds stacks up to 5 times. So, the crit multipliers are now huge on a lot of weapons because of these Galvanized mods if you want to build for that and get headshots. You have Galvanized Shot, 80% status chance on kill, and or 80% status chance, and then on kill, 40% damage per status type affecting target for 14 seconds. Oh, this one stacks up to three times, probably because it's for pistol, and pistols are generally weaker as it's a secondary. Then you have Galvanized Diffusion, which is just straight up multi-shot, and then on kill, more multi-shot for pistol, and then Galvanized Scope, the crit for your rifle. Yeah, as you can see, shotguns, they don't have a crit type galvanized mod because they instead have this projectile beam slash length one because it's a little harder to get a headshot kill with a shotgun, but yeah, who knows? I guess I'll pick up galvanized hell for now. It's not like it matters. I will need to pick up all of these mods anyways, and if you have a resource booster, it works great in the arbitrations for the shield drones, so you can get two Vitus Essence to drop from them, get increased drop chance, things like that, and it works really well. But vanilla, just farming arbitrations aren't really too bad. Keep in mind, again, you can only do one arbitration an hour. I think if you try to bypass it, you don't properly get the rewards, so probably best to only run one an hour and try not to taxi onto a second an hour, as I think it gets a little borked, so yeah. Hopefully this video helped, I just wanted a small video today talking about galvanized mods as I take care of that. So, thank you all for watching, like it and subscribe if you like the video, and dislike it if you hate it. Feel free to check out any of my social medias and any of my affiliate links down below if you want to support the channel, and of course you can always use Epic Game Store code PUPSKER if you use the Epic Game Store. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you next time. Peace.